This was the MGN. was up there with a lot of smoke doing those doobies over and over again his kid was actually here in town playing in the high school before he we went to go transfer to UCLA playing football Snoop is a good business guy he's worth about 300 million bucks and I know he called his agent and he said look me so I worked every Friday and Saturday and everything was sitting around remember the Super Bowl they caught him smoking the weed see here how it's grown and grown since the early 60s Caesars there's the Melbourne Hotel over here is uh, Gordon Ramsay's huge restaurant, the largest one he has, Hell's Kitchen. Now, I just opened a sixth property on the strip last month at Harris. He's really doing well. On the right here, this is actually history. 1946, two stories tall. Let's see, Siegel stopped the car right here, said he was going to build it right here. That's the Flamingo from way, way, way back when. On the left over there, the top of the roof, they could get back in from the Hangover movie. Up ahead here is Caesar. Right here, there's the link, the fly link, the zip line, all the way back to the high road. Back there in the in and out burgers and everything in there. It's really cool. Now, on the left over there, see that round building? That's 4,000 sheets. That's the Coliseum. Who worked in there for 10 years? Celine Dion. You know what? She sold that out every time she was there. Every time. They did not drive her home in a limo out by Lake Las Vegas where she lives, 15 miles from here. They flew her in a helicopter both ways. If they had a spaceship, they would have done. Sure, we can't see anything. Uh -huh. There's a car 
to do. You know what you do? You'd walk around the back because it's flat gorgeous back there. Now he also put the curb in his hotels, billions of dollars extra. They were built to be straight. They would have been nice looking, but the curb makes them. Vegas, but legally, it's just over there. 
That area over there, that's where you're going to get good deals. All the friends at home, the nieces, nephews, grandkids, go over there, save about 40% this Bonanza Gift Center. Been there since the late 40s. All the stuff you see in the hotels, most of the trucks from here. It's all branded over there already if you want to, you know, get stuff. Oh, it's selfie time. Daddy's there. Think about it and I'll tell you about this. There it is, the tallest structure this side of the Mississippi, 1100 feet. That is the strap. From out there, take one step, down you go. 855 feet. Up there is a restaurant going around every hour, top of the world. They cook downstairs with your mate, send it up 100 feet flights. Lunch and dinner up there, you get married up there, little chap with the clouds. Big shot, the middle of that ship, the red line up there, a thousand feet. It's the largest Mexican restaurant in town, Casa Don Juan. Also down here is a deli, pizza, Italian restaurant, gay bar, wine tasting room. Mom, get your hair done down here tomorrow. Make an appointment. Come out blue with the hair. Yeah, the Atomic Salon. You got to do something funky if you're in the Atomic Salon down here. Down here are three places for making the barbecue right now. Well, right now, the smokers are going. And three places for the breweries are all churning out the good signs. It's the Main Street Art District. It will start way down there at that light. And the cool thing about it is there's no gambling down there at all. all right. Straight ahead here, you'll see the Denny's behind our girls. Our girls are brand new. They put them in two and a half months ago. The new 50-foot show girls, 25-footers, are moving down the street that have been there for a number. All right, girls, I'm sorry. No jacket. You did the job when you took it. Buck up, buttercup. They complain all the time. Here they come. Help out the love box down. Yeah, very good. Four stars. You heard about that? It's a good place. On the left over there, Magic 8 Ball Bail Bonds. You get in trouble tonight. We'll bring you back. There are the condos. They were here 15 years ago. All filled with people living and working downtown. 27 years ago, the mayor ran down there and told the folks, downtown stinks. Okay, Smarty, what are you going to do? They sat down and came up with the concept of Fremont Street Experience, covering four of the five blocks. A couple years later, they did the East Fremont District down here, the other side of Vegas Boulevard, the Trader Park, lots of fun stuff there. And ten years ago, the Mob Museum. So we're all dialed in now. Hell's for Life, you know what that is? That's a marijuana dispensary. Oh yeah, yeah, Hell's for Life. Now, the one thing that upsets me more than anything else, five years ago, we had the shooting down in Mandalay Bay. The shooting out there, the casinos never even put a rose on the wall. Nothing to honor the people. Zero. They even, they even shoot the people. The bottom line is locals were living. They wanted to come down here and do something. The city of Las Vegas said, lay back, we'll take care of it. And what they did, they donated the land. 
the volunteers came within four days to honor the 800 injured and 58 killed. They created this. This is the healing guard. Don't you ever talk about my city. That's the hard right here. There's 18B again, the destination for the art district. And on the far left, the third art area. Sit out there, they give them the drum, so they have the ball. All right, 
I'm like anywhere else. All the entertainers, all the great local food. Quick left, quick right. This is Fremont Street Experience. Three to four thousand people will be here tonight. I'm left out here for local food everywhere down here. Nacho daddies. Get a shot glass in there with the scorpion. They take the stinger out. That's where you go, about six blocks to the left, that's Vegas Boulevard. Tonight, that's where you go see all the big signs at the Neon Museum down there. This is our only stop downtown. Get off here for Fremont Street Experience, East Fremont area. And of course, the Mob Museum, straight ahead. Great tour, take it. It'll end you two hours, self-guided, downstairs at the bar, this be easy. If you're leaving, thank him downstairs, help out the love box. Thanks for being on the big bus, you make some money. Another bus every 45 minutes for you. Detail work of that building from early thirties gives you an idea. It was about 3,000, 4,000 per piece of time. There's your mom museum. At the wheel down there is Michael. I'm so sorry, already glad to have you here. On the right, that's the old bus station. These are special events, also a farmer's market. On the left here, Binion's, the steakhouse there. They opened after COVID. And over after COVID, Circa, they worked on it all the way through there. That is the largest sportsman in the world in there. got to be over 21. Three hotels here like that. ship it all to LA, just leave it here. Well, that's how the Hawaiians got involved with it. All right, remember the movie Casino where De Niro got blown up? 30 different locations they shot right there. Bam, right there, halfway up at an angle, that's where it was. On the left over here, your circa, the old Las Vegas club was there. And there's the actual garage over there. The circa the garage mall at night all the time. Looks like a casino, it isn't. It's a parking garage. On the left up here, been here 110 years, our oldest hotel, the Golden Gate, Street sign. On the far end here is where the zip liners end up and run. And also tonight, that stage, you know, we have three, four thousand people. You've got to come down here at night to experience from this street experience. The show at the top of the hour. You've got to do it. You've got to see the volcano and you have to see the comments. Behind, you'll see a big screen and light up tonight. 
You don't have your city hall light up in Jamaica? I'm shocked. I'm sorry. You guys, do you even have a city hall out where you guys... It's a real deal. It's a movie. It's a bad day. here last week, Godzilla. She sat and crushed his set.
I wouldn't either. I don't even swing that way. So there it is, getting up to speed. Who's going to ride that? Anybody? You're going to ride that? Wow. Your daddy's little girl. <laughs> I don't think Mama's going to ride it, are you? I used to work up there. I didn't even do the big shot. Of course, I weighed 400 pounds. We had a guy, and it's funny, you heard about Celine Dion, that story about her with the, the frozen thing, which you could turn into. I saw that. Because up there, I did that big shot for about two weeks before I left. And we strapped the guy in three different times, and he was frozen like this. He was about 18. All right, let me ask you a question. Are we on the strip right here? No. No. The strip does not start until the Sahara Hotel is up to the sign. Goes all the way through the valley. What's the cost of the, uh, the actual archway here? Six million. Very good. Here comes our stop here at the Strat. You're hopping off. Remember, nine different stops. We'll be back with another bus every 45 minutes. Thanks for being here. Thanks for Michael downstairs. Oh, uh, there it is up there. See the blue box. Would you jump from up there? 855 feet. If you do, anybody leaving? Everybody here with me? If you come down, I've asked everyone that's done it. I said, did you think you weren't going to stop into a person? They all said yes. Because they come down at 855 feet, 65 miles an hour. And the groundwater, they can't do anything. Now, the old days of Sahara, how many remember the old days with The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and all that? And actually, back in that era, he was on there all the time. He was the director of entertainment here, Buddy Hackett. Remember Buddy Hackett? He was a Mad Mad World, a little fat guy, a music man, also Herbie the Love Bug, right? He was a comedian. Well, he was on stage one night. He was drinking a lot in those days. He was in front of everybody. Next morning, he asked his buddy, did I turn around? He goes, no, you didn't. Buddy. Well, they fired him immediately. But welcome to Vegas. Guess what? Two weeks later, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. He opened out at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> I love that story. That's the best Vegas entertainment story ever. On the right over there, that is where O.J. got busted. Pulled the gun, memorabilia. That three-decker building there with the flag. That's Palestine. stop here resorts world what i like i've never been back here before that the road actually goes up about 50 or more feet and when you go out you have a little bit of a downward right? nice view of the street now on the right over there there's the uh, actual tent for circus they used to have a circus act in here her name was bertha she was a pygmy elephant back in the old days i'm talking the 60s after it opened into the 70s and she knew her act and after the act they had a ramp she'd go down and they had a table set up and she'd play craps they had big rubber die. She'd take her trunk and the tr trainer would give her a number. Today, birthday, your number's two, two. She'd shake her head. I saw it many times. It wasn't big. She'd take this die and throw it until she got a two. When she got a two, she knew it. She'd wiggle her ears and take her trunk and kiss everybody in the whole table and walk around. Then she'd walk through the casino with all the children in there. And they could build a spaceship like a 1955 science fiction movie. Landed on a barge in the ocean standing up.
size of it looks great. So right here, the 300 stores, Mom, for you. I should show them all the summer. It's a great place to come. It's all cool in there. Two stories all the way back to Sammy Davis Jr. Drive. Like they had here, the LGBTQ rainbow stairs. You can come and take selfies there. Okay. There's your front to the wind. Let me tell you something. Are you in the wind or the encore if you are? At night, do yourself a favor. Go to the side entrance of the wind where the Ubers pick up. I used to Uber here. Sit there. It is a fairyland. It is the best opening to a hotel I've seen in the world. My dad worked for an airline. I traveled like everywhere except Australia, pretty much. We got everywhere they love sitting. But the bottom line is that it is flat, gorgeous. The side entrance to the wind if you get a chance to see it. Locals here don't even know it's over there. It is incredibly beautiful. Right across from the Palazzo parking lot entrance. South Korean, very spicy. There's uh, Filipino food and Chinese food. Uh oh, somebody did the bullet already. Better wake her up in a while. She'll be up all night. Keep it down. Does she sleep pretty good? What'd you guys fly on? Qantas? Kiwi Air, or the uh, Kangaroo Air. That's good. Yellow yeah, Roos in that part corner is just too rough for Roos up there to eat. You got I love Kangaroo Jack. Now, you've seen Kangaroo Jack, right? That movie? What is with you guys? Don't you ever watch me here in the middle of nowhere? Get hold of Kangaroo Jack from about 25 years ago. It's that song. Do, 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 do. You've heard the song before. The story is they have mob money, it gets lost. They put a jacket on a kangaroo that thinks it's dead. Kangaroo wakes up and runs away, and the whole movie is trying to capture the kangaroo. Uh, they, they have you love it. It's fun. That's the largest building in our state again. Now straight ahead, this is interesting, I don't know if I've seen the brains. That is actually a tarp. See how you can see through it, it's swaying in the breeze. If it rips, they put a new thing on. How long has it been there? Since 2007. Yep, they were building a, uh, actually condos, the St. John condos, they were got them done. The seals back there. And they just, I don't know who owns it. They put the cranes up three, four years ago. They spent around 90 days, they haven't done anything. Whoever owns it, I want to hang with because they got way too much room. Isn't that crazy? The building is not a building. Two of the best shopping centers in the world. Get off here. Grand Canal shops down the street. The Forum shops. And here, of course, is going to be our stop in Treasure Island. Most people don't know this was going to be a Mirage Tower. Did you know that? I didn't know until four years ago, and I lived here all these years. He got the idea to turn it into a casino. He was very nervous. He thought he wouldn't make any money. Steve went. And he said, I got the idea for the boats in front. Let me try this. And boom, guess what happened? It was a killer. Back here, this was where it was going to be a loading dock and parking. And that is now a small pool area. Very intimate, very cool. So, straight ahead is actually the ramp for the monorail. Three this side of the script. They're all free. This one goes from here to the monorail. Partners with Donald in the Trump Tower. And he also owns Circus Circus. Now, let me tell you how brilliant he was. There was a steel shed back here a few years ago. In there, we knew it was furniture. No one else could just drove around. And every day, he sent two crews up there to work out two rooms. The carpet and paint it. They'd come down to get the furniture. Now, any other corporation would come in and close half the hotel down for six months to redo the rooms. He did two rooms a day. In two years, he had a brand new hotel. They were shut down in elevator shut. I mean, that's how smart this guy is. Pretty cool. Hi, Mr. Miner 49er, right here. I need your help. You got the wind, you got the encore. I'll tell you that the wind is larger uh, than the other hotel. It's got more rooms. The question I have for you, though, is which one is the tallest? They're not the same. Is it the wind or is it the encore? You're just guessing, aren't you? Yeah, you're right. Three stories taller. Eight years later, were you a school teacher? Yeah, I'm a school teacher. Do I have any school teachers here today? Yeah. Any nurses? Thank you so much, especially during COVID, guys. Tough job, man. 
Do I have any veterans here today? Huh? Do I have any bums? Gonna be the Venetian, the sister hotel, the Palazzo. And back there, the shopping center, the Grand Canal shops behind here. But up ahead here, what we're gonna do is the Mirage is gonna be colored blue in the near future. Because probably after the race next November, they're gonna really dig in. What they're gonna do is definitely blow up the volcano. It's just, you need to see the clouds here.
Here you have New York, New York, the Chrysler Building to the Empire State Building. Brooklyn Bridge, there's the roller coaster, the Big Apple. Get your camera up on the corner, here it is, Lady Liberty. Look at Mighty Five. She's quite gorgeous. She made a styrofoam concrete, take her to Mount Bush, she can float. Oh well, but she would. Now, across the street here, look over here, you see, there's Leo the Lion. All right, Mom, here's what I want you to do. I need you to be here at 3 this morning a little drunk. Can you do that for me? Just a little drunk. Drunk enough. Because what you're going to do at 3 in the morning, you're going to look at her. And she's going to wink every morning at 3. She winks right over at Leo. See him over there? And look at his face. You know what he says all the time? Look at it. He says, I love you. I love you. See his face? I love you. She's been doing that to him for 25 years. You women are horrible creatures. Three in the morning. We'll be out here looking for you. Now, what you've got here, turn your head. You're looking at 14,000 hotel rooms in your vision. Do you have that downtown where you live in the Northern Territories? <laughs> all these people, almost all of them, nothing to do with gaming. Nothing to do with the strip. They're going across the valley. 2.4 million people get from here to there. They just drive over the strip. On the left over there, mid-50s, crusty and dusty, the trap from back then. 1990, right here, the Excalibur. We're talking about almost 4,000 rooms back then. We're about the largest in the world. And this is where they have the horsey show. That's another good show for the kids. I love it. I've seen it twice. You need to go see that again. That's the, uh, the tournament. And uh, that's where they throw a Cornish game in at you and eat it with your fingers. Actually, it's the last dinner show on the strip. They throw it to you, and then the, the girl comes by. She says, I am your winch. And they think, I, I swear to God. They all yell out, Winch! Another tanker to Pepsi. Uh, but they got a live band. The, the, the coolest performers on the strip are in there. You know what they are? The horses. Every night when the night falls off.
might have heard there's a new campaign from the Convention Bureau here. They don't want children. 6% in the past, up 21% now. So what the campaign is, there's a guy talking to his kid in bed. He says to the boys, his son, everyone in Las Vegas eats broccoli. There's broccoli and cheeseburgers. There's broccoli in hot touch sundaes. There's steamed broccoli with no butter. Everyone eats broccoli. The kid looks up and goes, Dad, yeah. actually from the Big Easy, the, uh, the House of Blues, they get all the big acts in there, a couple weeks ago, Santana was in there for a few nights, and they get big time stuff. Over here on the left, the Mandalay Bay, you want to stay on the top, that can be arranged. If you're going to go over there to the big white building coming up ahead, you'll check in, get the elevator ride up there, get your own food, gaming, everything, and when you come down, your own special bill, because you've been staying in Mandalay Bay up on the top in the Four Seasons Hotel. And that ain't cheap, baby. Lots of money. Up the head on the right here, these are all real, all the palm trees. Everything you see. Get that to the fabulous Las Vegas. I hear it's windy. It's out here, really windy and cold. Back. We get the wind going this way and the way back we don't. It's kind of weird. So this is a nice warm day for you. Away from Columbus. Okay. Yeah, the whole Midwest is going to be a zoo. And the Pacific Northwest. But they still look like this. That's why I live here. 85, 90% every day. Two other good movies to look at from the 60s, 1960s Ocean's Eleven with the Rat Dap. Give you an idea how much open land was here, everywhere you look. All shot on location, and the last one I would recommend would be 67, uh, James Bond, Diamonds of Forever. They were around two circus circus and four by three months long before the canopy went up. Now, Elvis got married here in 64. I know another guy got married here in 1970. Everyone loves this guy. They pat him on the back, the ladies give him a little peck on the cheek, and they go, oh, we're so glad you're in Vegas. I got married in there. Round one, back in 1970. They don't really say all that good stuff about me. So where did 
Saturday Night Married number two, 8888, in front of the Cat House in Pahrump. We wanted the girls to be our flower girls. We couldn't arrange that, but I had the Justice of Peace show up for my karate sister, uh, lesson in a, it's in a key. And then I just got married a year ago.
And there are mountains over to the right over there in the distance. To the left of those is Nellis Air Force Base, and just on the inside of that. Thank you. 